Sydney Airport, Australian Border Force officers are conducting routine bag searches of passengers arriving off a flight from America. And they have stopped a young couple who say they are here for a two-week holiday. We're here for honeymoon, is that right? Well, I call it a honeymoon, but we just got engaged. <laughs> As they search their luggage, officers immediately locate some documents which may be of interest. And a medical certificate? Yeah, yeah, just carry it on. Yeah, no worries. Are you bringing any in with you today? No, no? not at all. During the baggage exam, we found a number of cards and a piece of paper that says they're uh, on medical marijuana. In uh, California, it's legal for medical usage. So uh, they've got cards that state that they're users of marijuana. How often do you use marijuana? Uh, honestly, at least once a night, just to uh -huh. sleep, yeah. So how do you think you're going to go sleep. being away for two weeks without it then? Um, it's on the head. Yeah, okay. Is that Is that the reason why you I the only time I really smoke is at night. You just smoke it, go to sleep, you wake up, you're fine. As the search continues, officers notice subtle differences in the behaviour of the couple. She's very relaxed, happy to be here. He's more intent watching the baggage exam, a little concerned about something. We'll uh, keep on looking at his luggage and see what his concerns are. Have you been uh, using it every day since you had the accident though? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, Do you ever take time off? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. definitely. Like when, when I left my family down in Mexico, I don't know. Take it may be allowed in California, but marijuana is illegal in Australia. And with their admission that they are regular users, officers have one major concern about this couple. Do not have any marijuana on it? Mm, I wish. <laughs> I said I wish it's going to be a long trip without it. <laughs> Despite their denials, Supervising Officer Lee still has his doubts. We're going to have a really close look at these two. We know they've been using marijuana, so they may have some in their luggage. Despite numerous warnings when entering Australia, many passengers still fail to declare certain food or plant material that they may be carrying. Today, in Sydney, biosecurity officers are about to inspect a number of sealed boxes belonging to a woman returning from Vietnam, as they suspect they contain a large amount of undeclared organic material. Okay, what is this one? Yeah? Okay. Why did you say no here? Number seven. Why did you say no? As the passenger speaks very little English, Officer Jeanette will use a translation booklet to question the woman further. This is this one, and you've said no. Why? But this is not English, this is in Vietnamese. You are Vietnamese? Yeah, but you're Vietnamese, yes? Okay, this card is not English, this is Vietnamese. Why did you say no? But saying sorry may not be enough to get this passenger off the hook, especially once the next box is open. So much food! So much, why? At Sydney's International Mail Centre, all incoming packages are screened for prohibited items or illegal substances. And today, a parcel sent from India is causing some concern. Hey Pete, do you want to come and have a look at this one? This one, what yeah, the x-ray, it just, it looks a bit strange. They look like handbags, do you? Yeah, they do, yeah. But, yeah. But they're... Yeah, they're declared, declared as purses and bags. Yeah. Um, you can see here, that's the base of the bag. Yeah. And if you, uh, you zoom in, it just looks... Yeah. See the cracking here? Like, yeah. It doesn't look quite right, no, it so definitely worth having a look at. 
Suspecting there may be narcotics concealed in the handbags, Australian Border Force officers Peter and Carly take the package to an examination room so the contents can be inspected. It's not very well packaged to protect the goods. That's what we thought. The box contains the declared handbags and on initial inspection, nothing seems amiss. No smell of glue. You can definitely see something on x-ray though. That yeah, absolutely. Something in the bottom. Yeah. I think you can see here that it's okay. been adjusted. Yeah, we wouldn't expect that on a brand new bag. No, it's sort of as if it's been cut and then re resealed. Sealed. Yeah, so we'll use that as our entry point. Yeah. Jackpot. There we go, it's not meant to be there. Yeah. While searching the luggage of a young American couple, Australian Border Force officers have discovered they are carrying medical marijuana cards and they have admitted they are daily users of the drug back home in California, where it is legal. We know they've been using marijuana, so they may have some in their luggage. Marijuana is a prohibited import into Australia, and as the man seems a little anxious, officers need to determine if it's because he has something to hide. Fiance, is it being in trouble? Nothing major. What are you saying? That I Nothing know of. major, what does it mean? Like, I mean, he hasn't killed anybody. Yeah. <laughs> what about um, narcotics? No, just, we just smoke. We. <laughs> We're kind of hippies. Yeah, so he's been caught with marijuana? We all have, but we yeah. don't get in trouble for it. Right. Since I've been with him, he's never been in jail. Has police spoken to him before? Oh, yeah, they always. I mean, because he has tattoos, everyone, they always stop him. Yeah. Yeah. I like when we go in to like clubs and stuff, they always like search him down. Oh. It's not what the couple do at home that is of any concern for Border Force officers, but what they may be bringing into Australia. Seen one of these before? Oh, yeah. Swabs are taken of some of their personal belongings to check for any traces of illegal substances. In Sydney, the luggage of a passenger arriving from Vietnam is being inspected by biosecurity officer Jeanette. And so far, she has discovered a large quantity of undeclared food items. OK, what we've got here is some fish. The fish is actually allowed, subject to inspection. But the other consideration here is the volume. And she has what we would consider a commercial amount. So she may not be taking all of this with her today, even if it is OK. Travellers are permitted to carry up to five kilograms of fish into Australia as long as it's prepared correctly. It's been salted, it's been dried to some point, but it's still quite fresh. Officer Jeanette is satisfied the fish is not a biosecurity risk, but she is not happy with the amount the passenger is carrying. So that's about a kilo a bag. There is more than twice the permitted weight. You're only allowed five kilo. You have too much and you're not allowed this amount. Five kilograms of fish will be returned to the passenger. The rest will be seized. But it doesn't end there. Yet another box is full of undeclared food products. So we have more fish. This is problem. See the cracking here? Like, yeah. It doesn't look quite right. No. After noticing an anomaly on the X-ray of this box of handbags sent from India, Australian Border Force officers have taken them to an examination room for closer inspection. We wouldn't expect that on a brand new bag. Believing the bag has been tampered with and may contain narcotics, the stitching has been cut open. Jackpot. Yeah, it's not meant to be there. Yeah. That's definitely it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get that concealment out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Coming out very easily. The concealed package is easily removed, and officers are confident they have located an illicit substance. I kind 
of feels a bit powdery, Pete. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you can see it's definitely a um, like an yeah. off-white powder in there. Mm -hmm. Suspecting the off-white powder is heroin, a specific narcotics test is used to identify the substance. If it is heroin, this uh, when I crack this last vial, it should go bright green. It's an immediate result, confirming the presence of high-purity heroin. To find out how much of the narcotic they are dealing with, the remaining two handbags are checked. First one's cutting very easily. Yep, same again. Confirming all three bags have the same concealment, one of the packages is weighed. So that's about 148 grams. So there's about 400 grams of heroin concealed in the base of the three bags. So that's a good, that's a good detection good today. Out. Yeah. So we'll hand that over to the Australian Federal Police and they'll investigate from there. Australian Border Force officers have just had a positive swab result for an illegal substance from the luggage of this American couple who say they are here for a holiday. Uh, it's come back positive for THC, which is a major ingredient of uh, marijuana. We'll uh, continue with the baggage search and uh, see what happens. Some of the woman's personal items are taken to be x-rayed as officers step up their search for any possible concealments. What's that? That's just a uh, sleeping medicine, uh, okay. right out, smooth, easy. So you, you were well, well, well rested on the flight well, then? Well rest, I slept 12 hours. Yeah, it just more get you right out. So far, nothing seems unusual. They all look good, nothing inside those. The woman's luggage gets the all clear, but Officer Lee wants to make one more check. I want to be sure that you don't have anything on your body, okay. narcotic-wise. Detaining you for the purpose of a frisk search. Could you read the card for me? She consents to a frisk search as her fiancé's final bag is checked. I'm going to just get you to stand down a little bit more. What I want you to do is stand. It's exactly right. As the search for narcotics continues, officers suddenly have a major breakthrough as a package is located taped to the inside of some of the man's clothing. You have too much. This Vietnamese passenger has claimed she has nothing to declare. So we'll have a closer look at that one then. But biosecurity okay. officers have found that her luggage actually conceals a huge range of restricted items. So we have more fish. This is problem. Another five kilograms of fish is found, along with non-commercially packaged food and other items which could pose a serious biosecurity risk. What we're actually looking at here is tree sap. Now it's non-commercially packaged and it does require the botanical name for us to identify the, the species of tree that it's come from. Some tree saps are used in Chinese medicine to improve the flow of blood and urine. You can see that it's not very clean, it's actually got some um, particle throughout. So it basically could contain anything. It could contain seed, pathogen, insects, and therefore really presents a, a threat and an, an issue. So we're going to seize that today. There are also unlabeled seeds which are not allowed. This is problem. Problem today, OK? With so many boxes of prohibited goods, it's a serious situation. It's such a large amount. For her to fail to declare when the card is actually asking her the question in her own language, is not really acceptable at all. And this passenger could be facing a hefty fine. Just get you to stand down a little bit more. What I want you to do is stand. 
Australian Border Force officers are searching an American couple who are both carrying medical marijuana cards and have admitted to being daily users of the drug back home where it is legal for medical reasons. OK, thank you. The frisk search is negative, but officers suspect the man may be trying to smuggle the illicit substance in with him as a package is located taped inside his clothing. The baggage officers had a good look through the bag and as she's been taking out uh, one of the pairs of jeans, she felt something inside the jean and found a bag inside and there's a green vegetable matter in there which we believe is marijuana. But he claims the package is not his. Please take your cousins, you know where so, you got it from? Probably from California since he has the same medical card as me. Okay. And it's funny because I asked for those and the black ones. He didn't tell you that there, it was anything in there? He didn't tell me. I know that I was coming here. I would not bring that to, to, you know, to this country. Regardless of how it got there, this passenger could be in serious trouble and Border Force officers take the next step. In light of finding that, basically I'm going to caution you so you don't have to say or do anything, but anything you say or do may be used against you. Do you understand that? Yes, the man has read his rights, and Officer Stella has a few more questions. Are you hiding anything on your body? Nothing, man. I have nothing on my body, nothing. Anything Please. inside your body? Nothing. Does anyone ask you to swallow or bring I anything? I promise yet? you. I promise. I'm smarter than that. Yeah, my business is too big. Too big. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to lose what I got going on to hide something in my body. I'm, I'm clean as can be. I'm just surprised that she is that, that was in there. He will now be taken to a private interview room to be questioned further. And the contents of the package will be tested, as this couple is now left to wonder if the man's time in Australia will be spent in the custody of the Australian Federal Police. Just wait, wait. OK, so there's quite a bit of juice in that one. In Sydney, this woman arriving from Vietnam on a tourist visa has failed to declare the enormous amount of food she is carrying. It looks like it's cooked fish. If we can identify the ingredients, we may be able to release some of it, but certainly not all of it. All the food is weighed and any items which are not labelled and are unidentifiable are seized, as well as 20 kilograms of excess fish the passenger is carrying. It is a huge amount of food. Failing to declare such a large quantity, including a number of high-risk items, is inexcusable. Because of all of this food that you said no to, you are going to be fined 340 Australian dollars. Do you understand? How did you come into Australia if you have no money? Do you want to do you have a card? Cards? OK. How are you going to survive here in Australia without any money? Claiming to have insufficient funds to pay the fine, the woman's situation may be about to get a lot more complicated. We actually said to her or advised her that if she doesn't have enough funds to actually um, support herself in Australia, that we would have to refer to immigration. When we did that, the lady was able to come up with more than enough money to pay for the fine. Um, After eventually finding the $340 in her purse, the passenger pays the fine and is free to go. Although she is now travelling more than 20 kilograms lighter than when she arrived. Following a thorough search of an American couple's luggage, Australian Border Force officers have located a package in this man's clothing which they suspect is marijuana. It was packaged really tightly and uh, it looked well concealed inside the pair of jeans. The man claims he was unaware the package was there, but he has been cautioned and read his rights. As he is taken to a private interview room, his fiancée backs up his story. Honestly, he probably didn't even know he had it in his bag because we both, you know, we're in California, you can smoke anywhere, so we'll throw it in our bag or if we're going on a road trip or whatever. With the baggage search complete, the woman is given the all clear to repack her belongings as a sample from the package is taken for testing. Marijuana has a distinct smell and as soon as we smelt it, we were pretty sure we knew what we had. 
A specific nick test is used to confirm their suspicions. If the plant material is marijuana, the liquid will turn pink. It's a pretty quick reaction. So it's a definitely positive well, as far as we're concerned for marijuana. With the confirmation he is carrying an illegal substance, the man will be given the opportunity to speak to a lawyer, while his fiance is optimistic about the outcome. We're kind of like hippies, it's just organic, like it grows from the ground. <laughs> they might just confiscate it. I don't know if I'll go to jail, but even if he does, I'm still gonna go on vacation. <laughs> Smuggling any illegal substance across the border is not taken lightly by Australian law enforcement agencies. He uh, is a user of marijuana. He has used for the last five years. He's not that nervous, just unsure of what's going to happen. The Australian Federal Police arrive and the man's fiance is told she can leave the airport. So they gave me the phone number, I guess the police department where they're taking him. They said call in a couple hours. I'm sure he won't be in there that long. I'm just going to catch a cab, go to our room, unpack, start sightseeing. <laughs> I'm not wasting any time. As she heads off to their hotel in Bondi Beach, the man is escorted to the local police station, where a decision will be made on whether he will be allowed to continue his holiday.